Hey Kempsters, this is Mrs. Vandalay bringing you another edition of Kempster Video. And uh, we are going to start with uh, Chapter 14 today, and this is your acid base theories. Um, this whole next unit is going to be about acids, bases, and salts, so we're just going to start from the beginning. So we're going to describe the nature and the interaction of acids and bases uh, and look at some properties, okay? So if I say the word acid, um, I don't know what you comes to mind. Um, what are some acidic things you can think of? I mean, I think of lemons. You bite into a lemon like, ooh, all right? And, and what am I, I thinking of? Ooh, that's very, very, very sour, isn't it? Um, there are good electrolytes. You may have heard of that, like in your Gatorade. Uh, electrolytes keep the, um, the those balances in your body. So, like if you sweat a lot, you know, if you're an athlete or something, um, they they help replace some of those that you'll lose. Uh, acids will do that. Uh, you might remember from one of our earlier labs, it says reacts with many metals to form hydrogen gas. So yeah, right at the very beginning, I don't know if you remember that, we put some uh, hydrochloric acid with some magnesium. We collected the gas that was evolved uh, above that, and I put a little splint in there and went cheap, and some of you like freaked out. Um, the, so acids will react with many metals to form hydrogen gas. Why not all metals? Hey, go back to chapter eight and think about that um, single replacement um, activity series. So if the metal is above the hydrogen in the activity series, it will react. If it's below, it won't. So silver will not react with, with um, hydrochloric acid, let's say, and form hy uh, hydrogen gas. Uh, you might have had some experience with uh, indicators. Maybe in your younger, you know, middle school grades or something, you may have played with some litmus paper. Uh, acids will turn blue litmus paper to red. And we are going to be using something called a hydrion paper, and it'll turn red or, you know, close thereabouts uh, if it's an acid. So what are some examples of acids? Well, um, you might have recalled, I've already mentioned uh, citric acid. So citric acid is this formula here. Uh, it's found in lemons and limes. Um, you might look at that formula, all right? And so this is citric acid we take that h off so what might you know about the ion c6h707 that's your citrate ion very good um here's another one i don't know if you've had, had vinegar much but vinegar is uh very sour and it will do all these things i said and it's uh, acetic acid it's a uh, uh, if you have pure acetic acid don't it stinks to high heaven so it's a diluted uh acetic acid and that's your vinegar you might be familiar with some of these things here, carbonic acid and phosphoric acid. They're, they're found in some of your sodas. So if you are drinking a Coke or, or a Mountain Dew or something, you might want to look at the label and you'll see some of these acids here. If you're drinking Mountain Dew or Sprite, you'll also probably see citric acid in that as well. All right, so your sodas um, are also very acidic. Uh, carbonic acid is also the main component in acid rain uh, for your information there. And I just threw one more out there. I've already mentioned hydrochloric acid, um, HCl, and that is the acid that's in your stomach. That's your stomach acid. So if you have an upset tummy, you might take some Tums or some Rolades. Uh, they are also known as antacids. They're like anti-acids, so they will help combat the acid in your stomach, which is HCl. Uh, so is there a trend here? Well, look at the names. Every name has what in common? The word acid. Every formula has what in common? They all begin with an H. All right, so there are some easy ways to recognize acids when you see them. So what about bases? Um, bases are a bitter taste. There's not a lot of foods that are bases, all right, because people don't like to eat bitter things, all right? Uh, bases are very slippery feeling, all right? They're also electrolytes. They do change indicators, colors. Uh, litmus, uh, red will turn blue. Hydrogen paper will turn blue. But phenolphthalein, uh, spell that in your sleep, all right, uh, will turn pink, all right? More of a magenta color. So some of your bases are sodium hydroxide, NaOH, potassium hydroxide, and they were used in your earlier soaps. Uh, the problem is they're very caustic. They, they would eat your skin and leave pock markets on them. Uh, so today soaps don't use those. They're still very, very important in industry, uh, but not in, in your soaps. But, but why would I put that in there? Well, what do you know about soaps? Well, aren't soaps slippery feeling? All right. Uh, yes. And I don't know about you, but um, have you ever had your mouth washed out with soap? I did once as a little girl. I won't tell you about that. 
Um, but anyway, if you ever tasted soap, maybe when you're in the shower, you get some of your mouth back, so I hope you don't. Um, they don't taste very good, all right? So they're also bitter. Uh, what are some other ones? Um, I think of ammonia. So you might buy ammonia Kroger's, and uh, what is it, it going to be used for? It's, it's a cleaning product. But here's another one that's going to really throw you off, all right? Sodium bicarbonate. Uh, is your baking soda. It's found in soda crackers. So there is some bases that we'd eat. Now think about that. Um, if you are home from school because, you know, you have an upset stomach or something, maybe you're given some uh, soda crackers uh, to nibble on. Well, why would you be given those? Well, they're bases. They might uh, help neutralize your, your stomach acid if you're having an upset stomach. Um, so baking soda, soda crackers, if they're, that's that ingredient, sodium bicarbonate. Um, so anyway, is there a trend? Look at the names. Is there a trend? Uh, no. Is there a trend in the formulas? Uh, no. All right. You could say, well, three of them have oxygens, but that's not enough. All right. Oh, they all have hydrogens, but that's not really a good point. All right. Um, the hydrogens for the acids are always written first. Okay. So there is not really a good trend for your bases. Um, we're going to learn later that your hydroxides are your, your most common bases. And um, if you look in my room, you'll see that I have a, a Oak Hills baseball shirt. Why do I have that? Because OH and base go together. All right, let's go to the next page. All right, um, this is next section is a review of naming acids. All right, so again, like we already know, the H is always the first element in the formula. So the anion is what's going to be different. And always look to the anion to name the acid, all right? So, again, my ride has hydraulics. Um, my, I ate something icky, and my Sprite is delicious. Do you remember that? Um, and then there's a couple things. So, sulf would be from your sulfur. Um, your phos would be, like, from your phosphor. So, uh, we'll come across that. So, it's not just... Sulfic acid, it's sulfuric acid, it's not phosphic acid, it's phosphoric acid, okay? So that's what this is about, okay? So here again, we have uh, HCl, <coughs> your anion, it just take away the H, uh, take away one H, so it's chloride, which is Cl minus. Um, there's no O's in it, so it's just chloride, and it's hydrochloric acid. My ride has hydraulics. Uh, let me do the next two with you, and then I'm going to let you do the next some on your own, all right? How's that sound? So SO4, um, take off your two H's, you have SO4 two minus, which is, as you know, sulfate. And so then this becomes sulfuric acid, just like what we set up here. It's not sulfic acid, it's sulfuric acid, okay? And look at the next one. We have uh, NO2, which, as you know, is nitrite. Um, my Sprite is delicious, so it's nitrous acid. So why don't you take a few moments out, pause this, and uh, finish off this chart here, okay? All right, how'd you do? Let's see. Um, here is your chromate, so it's chromic acid. Here you have cyanide. Notice that ends in ide, so it's hydrocyanic acid. Uh, notice you have chlorate to get chloric acid. Notice this is sulfite, oops, so it's sulfurous acid. And then the F is all by itself, so it's fluoride. So you end up with hydrofluoric acid. Remember, fluoride is F-L-U-O-R-I-D-E. Do you remember that? All right, so let's go the opposite. So what if I give you the name? How do you uh, come up with this formula? So notice you have a hydroic acid. So hydro, that oh, that means it's an ide. So I have a iodide, which is I minus, which is HI. So I have one negative charge here, so I have one H in front. So let's look at this one, all right? So carbonic acid has an ick. So I ate something icky, so it's a carbonate. Carbonate is CO3, two negative. So my formula, because I have a two negative charge here, is H2CO3. And over here uh, is chlorous acid, us, um, my Sprite is delicious, so I end up with chlorite, which is ClO2 negative. So I have a one negative charge here, so I put one H in front. Hopefully this all sounds familiar. So why don't you go ahead and pause this again, and when you're done, come back and see how you did. All right, so go ahead and pause this. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did. Well, here's acetic acid, HC2H3O2. 
hydrobromic acid is just HBr. Nitric acid, ick, I ate something icky, is HNO3. Oxalic, oh, I bet you had to look that one up again, didn't you, right? C2O4, two negative, so it's H2C2O4. And then here is our phosphoric acid. Again, notice how it's phosphoric, not phosphic acid. Uh, so it's H3PO4. And I'm going to quit the uh, video here. Um, and I hope this was a good review. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.